Cheers. Cheers, come by. My, my name is Tom. Um, I'm from Washington, D.C., in the United States. Uh, my name is Mark. I'm from Baltimore, United States. Close Baltimore to is north of Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. um, Washington, D.C. is in between uh, the state of Maryland and the state of Virginia, mm -hmm. and Baltimore is in Maryland, which is the northern state of the two. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you know uh, natto? Who's that? For foreigners, I think it's kind of weird to try. It's like a sticky fermented bean. Oh, I've kind heard of, of that. Yeah. I've heard most of it. I've heard most of it. If, like if it. I don't yeah. like it, we don't like yeah. it, yeah. then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is what it is. We can be honest. What's the reason you came to Tokyo? For business. Morning. We arrived yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Uh, long flight. Yeah. Wow. And I'm very tired. Yeah. But... <laughs> How long was the flight from the United States to the total time was about 25 hours. 25 hours? Yes. So yeah. you went somewhere else for transit? Yeah, yeah. in LA. But actually the, the international flight to Japan was a lot nicer than oh, the yeah, one. The, the domestic flights in the United States are not good. <laughs> <laughs> the international was nice. They had movies, like a screen for all the seats. Uh -huh. And there was nothing like to entertain yourself in the, in the domestic flight. flight. And uh, the seats were a lot smaller. They were cramped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That egg, so you have to pick it up and eat. Can you buy this? Yeah. Yeah. No. Good though. Yeah. Kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. A little bit. That actually really brings it together. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had a moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, we know. Yeah. How do you eat it? How do you eat it? Because I just put the whole thing on. You really put the whole bean in there? I don't chew on the whole thing. But right, like, right. Like, you know how you eat like chicken wings? Mm -hmm. You put the whole thing Hi. in. Hi. <laughs> I don't eat chicken wings that way. <laughs> really? I like your t-shirt. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Samurai Jack. Samurai yeah. Jack. They just finished the last oh. season. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Hi there. No matana and uh, medium fatty tuna and fatty tuna. I've, I've never had the US. US. No. Yeah. There's always ever only been this. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There's way better here than there is in the stage. Way better. That was very good, yeah. I can already tell it's way better. <laughs> Are you okay with wasabi? It's between like the fish and the rice. No, it's... Oh, I see. Here, I didn't yeah. taste that. Yeah? I mean, it's not too much. Oh, no. I no, can no. It was perfect. It had a lot yeah, of good right. flavor to it. it is medium fatty Oh, this is medium fatty? A little bit softer than like the one you just ate. You like it? I think it keeps getting better. I think the biggest difference, well there's a lot of big differences from what I'm used to in America, but like even the rice has better texture and better flavor here than it does in America. And that's um, like the most noticeable thing, but like even like everything tastes awesome. This is the heavy fat? Fatty tuna. Yeah. Fatty tuna. Okay. I actually like that one a lot. The least one you prefer. I actually think I prefer the last one, the fatty, yeah, the fatty one. My favorite is the second one. I think I will. Yeah. Natto. Yeah, fermented beans. Okay. Which is? Which is this one, yes. Yeah, that one. Okay. okay. It kind of smells like peanut butter. Peanut butter? I'm not getting that vibe at all. <laughs> I don't know. Cheers. Cheers. I got the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes bad. Uh -huh. The texture is a little off-putting. Yeah, yeah. But it's something I can get used to. The taste is not for me. <laughs> really? No. Which is this one? Kind of video. It's conger. Okay. Conger. I never had. I never had it without sauce. Yeah. It's good. Never had that specifically. Mm -hmm. I definitely do in the US a lot of it's just like barbecue deal or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, usually it's got a bunch of barbecue sauce. So like, oh, yeah. I've never had a plan, it's actually pretty good. What is this one? That one looks scary. It's a sea urchin. Do you know what it is? Sea urchin? Yeah, I know what a sea urchin like looks like. What do they do to it <laughs> <laughs> to make it like that? It's like a kind of shell, and if you cut it in half, and then there's like a, this stuff inside, inside it. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very uh, different. Very different. different. Alright, here we go. I don't think I'll do that one again. Yeah, not a big fan of that one. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. What, what kind of food do you usually eat? 
There was a period of time where I lived off of Jimmy John's sandwiches and pizza. Jimmy John's is like a like a sub chain, like a sub sandwich. sandwiches, sandwiches, long pizza. sandwiches. Oh yeah, that's how I lived off that most of the day. So I'm definitely a fan of like red meat and potatoes. Yeah. I'd eat less typical American food. I would more do like different food. I mean, I'll have Mexican or Indian or um, I don't know, we'll go through the Italian different things. I'm sure it's all Americanized, but how about uh, Japanese restaurants? Sushi, I have sushi all the time, mm -hmm. but I mean, not, it's, some of it's traditional, but mm -hmm. a lot of it is more Americanized. You know, like, oh, okay. look, I assume frying it is more of an American thing. So you deep fried? Some of, it, some of it's deep fried or the, yeah. Yeah, they or have, like the inside is deep fried. They have like crunchy rolls crunchy that have like a deep fried oh, substance on it. Uh -huh. And then I like a lot of sauces on it too, yeah. like caviar. It's really good. What do you recommend if I go to your hometown? So Washington D.C., of course, like the you know Washington Monument and that whole area, you know the Capitol Building. There's different White House. museums, mm -hmm. the White House, Smithsonian Building, things like that is always fun to go to. Um, it's really easy to pick up U.S. history in Washington D.C. You can walk into almost any of the national buildings. There's something, there's some piece of history you can pick up. And I'm sure Tokyo has a lot of. Um, other cultural food, but Washington D.C. is cultural food from everywhere in the world, uh, all in one place. Um, more so than Baltimore, I would say. Baltimore is, is in Maryland. Um, there's in Virginia. There's a lot of hiking you can do. Um, yeah. the, the mountains there are very pretty. Uh, an area called the Shenandoah Valley. Um, lots of trees. The, all the leaves change color in the seasons. It's very pretty. Yeah, that's a nice place to go. So, do you like uh, Donald Trump? Personally, no, not at all. No, no, no. I very, I very much dislike the man. I don't know what your views are, but the younger generation is more liberal in the United States uh, okay. than the older generation. In the U.S., we call the older generation baby boomers. Yeah, we, more conservative, right? Yeah, they're like Republican. Yes, yeah. Our midterms are just for the Senate, mm -hmm. but in 2020 we have the presidential election um, again. I personally don't think he will win, but it likely depends on who the Democrats put up against him. And now, last year, I'm not a fan of Hillary. I wasn't a fan of Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, and that's kind of what we got was, you know, greater of two evils. Although personally, I would have picked Hillary over Trump, but we didn't. We got two candidates that a lot of people didn't like. I was a fan of Ben Carson. I hope he goes back up. I was a fan of Bernie Sanders, um, but he's he's a lot older. Yeah, I don't, he definitely won't go back up again. The U.S. is so um, so divided on, on politics. So if you like one candidate or you dislike one candidate, you really it puts you in a stereotype immediately. Uh, if you're in a stereotype, you will immediately think that you're uh, you're a bigot in one uh, way or another. They don't like you, uh, okay. and so we're very divided right now as a country. It's very unfortunate. Yeah. Very sensitive. You run us. into it almost on a daily basis. Um, it's really hard. Yeah. I mean, I'll eat raw. I'll eat raw tuna. That one had a good bit of wasabi in it. Oh, yours did? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. cool. That's good. <laughs> oh, salmon eggs. Yeah, okay. salmon eggs. I've had these. You don't yeah. have to put the soy sauce. It's already oh, okay. some salt in here. Good? So I was scared at first when they started popping, <laughs> but it was actually pleasant. <laughs> so I was like, this is fine. <laughs> no, it's really good. I've never had caviar that big. I guess it's a cultural Maryland thing uh -huh. where you all get together usually outside um, in the summertime usually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you call it, it's like a, like a crab feast. You you know you boil the crabs and you put something called Old Bay on them. Old Bay is like a, a spice mix. Uh -huh. It's very salty. You open up the crabs and you eat the meat usually with butter. Um, oh, yeah. And a lot of times you'll eat corn on the cob oh, with, yeah. while you're eating crab. the crabs. Yeah, right. No, it's expensive to eat in DC. Like, yeah. really expensive. And generally, when you eat blue crab, you'll—I mean, some people do it at a restaurant, but it's more expensive. A lot, uh -huh. a lot yeah. of times, they'll do it with family or with friends at their home. Oh. The, you put the live crab in the boiling water or in the steamer, and mm -hmm. they'll 
kind of scream a bit. It's un unfortunate. <laughs> to so it's actually to. not that. It's actually not that screaming. What? Oh yeah, you're right. It is. It's the air. It's the air pressure from the shell. Yeah. Really. Uh, so it sounds like sounds? screaming. It, it sounds like it's from the crap. Yes, it sounds like they're screaming, but. Yeah, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you go to the Maryland area. If, if you can find either a group of people who would do it or a restaurant that does it. A lot of restaurants will do it too, it's just a little pricey. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had an alligator? I've never had alligator. Yeah, alligator is pretty good. Uh, yeah. I would recommend it, yeah. If you can get a chance to get some fried alligator bits, it's actually quite good. It's like a mixture of chicken and fish. That's like the taste and texture. So like, yeah, you go for it. Wow. My roommate. So you like uh, Dragon Ball? Yeah, I watched uh, the original Dragon Ball. Yeah, I watched GT. No, I didn't watch GT. I watched um, Dragon Ball Z Kai, uh, and then I watched a little bit of Super. I've seen. All, I, I watched all of Dragon Ball Z, a little bit of Dragon Ball, um, not GT, and a tiny bit of Super. So. I don't know how the the voice actors scream like they do. Like I, it's got to hurt their lungs or their throats, you know. But is it like a Japanese version or English version? English yeah. yeah. I think the American voice acting is really done really well. Yeah, I think the American voice acting is done really well. I was surprised that the Japanese Goku's voice is much higher than in the American oh, version. Does it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> so, the women who have the Goku voice is about uh, 80 years old right now. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> Dragon Ball is very common, a popular thing in the US. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you for this has been awesome. Yeah. yeah. We're enjoying our time in Tokyo. Yeah. Very friendly country. <laughs> Bye. Bye.